game because we had some, you know, I got to switch. I got to make sure I make it to where it's the game of the week, not where we just always highlight the same damn team. You know what I mean? Because we could talk Michigan, the Michigan Ohio State games every single week, but that's that's not that's disservice. That's a disservice. This is a game that can go either way. That's why I bring these games up on game of the week and things like that. So I just wanted to throw that out there real quick. But you know what the game of the week is, the true game of the week is, and it's in the Pac-12. The Pac-12 has became the premier conference in the nation as they're on their way out. You know, it, it, it don't it always work like that? They did the same thing with Big East football. A lot of people don't know that. They had Cincinnati. Um, South, South Florida was even ranked for a moment there. Um, they had Pitt ranked. They had Cincinnati Pitt ranked. Um, who else was ranked? Louisville was still there at the time. They were ranked. They had six ranked teams in the Big East, and they were about to disband. So West Virginia know, was West Virginia there. West Virginia was still there. They weren't. They weren't in the big. They hadn't went, got to the Big Twelve yet because West Virginia stayed until the end, and then they went to the Big Twelve when everything was all said and done. So you know, um, yeah. So it's just crazy that. You know, it's kind of ending the same exact way. You know what I mean? But we'll see, we'll see how it goes. But all in all, Jeff, what are your thoughts going into this great rivalry game between Oregon and Washington? And this one really does mean a lot. Do you feel like the winner of the Pac-12 is in this game? Well, if you listen to me in August, uh, our winner of the Pac-12 was going to be Washington, our Breaking history, who was the team that was going to get into the Final Four that no one thought it was Washington? Here it is, uh, a season on the line for me here. Um, Penix Jr., if you haven't watched this team, go watch them. they got two wide receivers that will be playing on Sunday. Uh, Penix Jr.'s stock just keeps going up, up, and up, and income. come the Ducks. We all know about Bo Nix. We know about their offense and defense i've talked to a lot of people the last two weeks uh their their power rank number is one this game opened up at two dipped to one and a half is now three i am scared poopless here i am rooting 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 hard for the huskies here first one to 37 wins this game the combined uh scoring between these two offenses is 97 points a game uh i'm, I'm scared i think Oregon is the right side here, pups. Uh, but uh, I'm going to go on record here and say 37 34, Washington. All right, sounds good. Um, I have sat up in here and I've actually, you know, I got my conference bets list, but I do this thing now. I don't talk about the bets list until I actually put it on the show now. So that's why, you know, you haven't had me throw it on out there this week, but I'm already on Oregon for this game simply because I feel like Oregon has the, the better bunch here. You know, they've, they've been here plenty of times and every time you put Mike Penix in a, in a really important game where it's a team that matches the level of his team or they're a bit better, he doesn't really show up like that. I'm just going back to when he played at Indiana, they were big time. They were six and zero playing against Ohio state. He got absolutely wrecked, but that's different because Ohio State's a whole different animal. I, Indiana was on some fluke stuff that season anyway. Who cares? But Washington is probably a team that we look at and say to ourselves, they got a good opportunity to take it to, to any level that they want to take it to. But at the same time, too, you got the same thing going on with Oregon. They're a 1A, 1B situation, so it's really hard to uh, divide the two. But, you know, I know a lot of people with their, where their head's at. You're thinking about the home team. And in the Pac-12, home field advantage is huge. It's big. You know what I mean? It's re very rare road teams walk in there in these big games and win these games. You know what I mean? But I feel like Oregon's been in this position enough times to know how to attack this situation. Washington, in a sense, this is kind of them playing, them kind of being a little bit further ahead than they even expected. So I truly do like Oregon going into the spot. This is the best game of the week. And both these teams, I'm telling you right now, should not leave the top 10 on whoever the loser is. You know what I mean? And I feel like whoever wins this game needs to be immediately put into the top four. There's no ifs, ands, and buts about it. You put them in the top four or at least the top three because that's how, you know, we can go ahead and really, you know, 
make this thing real equal. But real quick before I jump into this conference, and I think next week we'll bring it up too, Jeff, about the um, SEC. But real quick, though, do 